Greetings, sir and sirets, and welcome to something a little bit different in Plague Inc. Evolved. As you know, I've been doing Simeon Flu non-stop for a while now, and people have suddenly re-emerged, asking me to give them a bit of a guide in, bacter in Bacteria Mega Brutal, and I thought I'd actually made a guide, but apparently I haven't. So, I'll be showing you how I win this. I haven't played it in a while, so I'll be a little bit rusty, but I should still pretty much win. I haven't lost a Mega Brutal game with Bacteria in a quite a long time. I know what I'm doing at this stage. We're going to be doing quite an aggressive build, so you can always vary up what I do, but let's just have a quick look at what we actually are doing. Modify genetic code. Metabolic jump, um, you can get DNA from popping red biohazard bubbles. Of course, there's always an argument for cytochrome surge. Get more DNA from popping orange DNA bubbles. And the big reason for this is you do get more DNA over time if you're a bit slower. So if you're doing a more of a passive, game, maybe a few more transmissions, less symptoms, and yes, I would maybe go to that, but personally, I'm, I'm always a big fan of Metabolic Jump, because it seems to give you the DNA when you need it the most, when you're spreading actively. Aquasite, because getting to Greenland is horrible, simple as that. Extremophile, because I'm a firm believer of being a little bit better everywhere, is a lot better than being much better in one particular place. So nowhere's going to give you a big issue. And finally, Symptostasis, the big thing. Symptom cost pardon me, don't increase, but easier to cure. Pardon me again, oh dear. That means that the whole genetic shift thing is way less effective at symptoms, which is a good thing. So without further ado, let's carry on, I think. Yep, calling myself Guide. And we'll start off in India, because unoriginal and stuff. The great thing of India is, as you probably are aware, huge population, very little drug resistance and very little resistance overall. Also, a hot and damp country is particularly good to start in. Because you get heat resistance, which means you don't have to buy heat resistance at all. Which is wonderful. Okay, so, just, I haven't really spoke about what I'm doing. Straight away I went into rash and then sweating. This is because they aren't actually particularly that good. Very slight severity, very slight infectivity, but they do unlock skin lesions and then even necrosis later on. Skin lesions is amazing for its cost. Because of symptostasis, it only costs 8 rather than 11. Gives you a huge bit of severity and a massive bit of infectivity. Severity isn't always a good thing, obviously, because you will get found a lot faster than usual. But, is a big but, it does, also, it does also mean you'll be getting a lot more DNA from red bubbles, and that's why met, that, that's why a metabolic jump, the one, the uh, gene I have chosen, is particularly good on such an aggressive lifestyle. You, you'd be getting a lot more orange bubbles if you were to stay in one place. Next, we're going to get coughing and sneezing. Very little severity, but quite a lot of infectivity, and that's great. And we're not finished yet, we're also getting nausea and vomiting. Note, I've avoided things like diarrhea, immune suppression, necrosis, etc., because once you get lethality, you are going to be found very, very soon in Mega Brutal. So we've only infected 800 people, and we've already got all of this going. A lot of the early stuff is already done. Next, we'll actually be getting resistances. After resistances, we'll be getting a few transmissions, not many, but a few of them are pretty much necessary for this kind of style. So let's have to wait and get some DNA, which is always the fun part of plaguing. Waiting. I go zoom in and watch India plague up and boil, of course, which is always entertaining. Now just remember, ah, that will actually alter our, how we play. Airplanes are now using filters, which means we're no longer going into water first. After the resistances, we're going to be going into air. Which does... Uh, it's not really too bad, it's not a huge uh, negative. But, but first of all, we are getting resistances, and the reason is... They're very, very expensive down the line. In fact, I'd go far, as far to say they'll be your biggest sink of DNA if you don't get them early on in Mega Brutal. Because I have once paid something ridiculous like 60 DNA for drug resistance level 2, and I pretty much lost because of that. They are found as that's to be expected. Um, they are only counting us as a minor um, disease because we're not lethal. So it's not really too much of a concern in a world filled with HIV and other horrible things. India starts to cure, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Drug resistance. As I did show as well, I do have that lovely one there, which is called um, Genetic Mimic. No, it's not Genetic Mimic. That's Yeah, it is Genetic Mimic. Genetic Mimic, which does one lovely thing. Slows down cures. Which is pretty good in Mega Brutal. In other game modes, I would never use it, but in Mega Brutal, it just gives you a bit more leeway to mess around. Which, I do a lot. So, air is 9. So, as soon as we get 9 DNA, which is now... Straight into air, and that will screw over their, their stupid filters. 
Someone start spreading again. I will get water level 1, air level 2, water level 2, and we'll basically be going for extreme bioaerosol, because that will give us a huge bonus in getting to the horrible places up there. Uh, cysts have been mutated, that's fine, because that means we can get abscesses, which is very, very cheap, and it can again increase our infectivity quite a lot. And still avoiding anything lethal. Lethal is bad. For now, obviously. Later on, we're going mental, but... Okay, water level 2. Next, we'll get air level 2. Sadly, they are shutting their borders a little bit quicker than expected, and that's because we have gone into abscesses. If you want to play it safe, I would have devolved that and simply got the DNA back. It doesn't make a huge difference in either way, but... The big thing which may cause you to lose is simply these guys up here shutting their borders. Okay, extreme boy aerosol is got, and I'm going to get genetic hardening level 1. And I might, might even get level 2, depending on how much DNA we actually do get. We are swimming in DNA, so yes, I'll get level 2 as well, and that will prevent them from curing us. Again, because of being so aggressive, we started with very little infected by the time they found us. Um, I'm now going to save DNA. We'll need the DNA now for later. We've got everything we need to spread, basically, and that's, that's the important thing. So let's see, where are we missing? Greenland, Morocco, Caribbean. Okay, and somewhere else, which I didn't look at. Oh, Sweden. Sadly, a lot of islands. Nope. We're simply waiting on the islands now. Okay, Greenland and that were both got at the same time. Brilliant. No more islands, which means we can go a little bit more mental. And we instantly go full lethal. So, necrosis, hemorrhagic shock, di diarrhea, and dysentery. Dysentery is a great one because, although it's not particularly lethal in, in, in comparison to other big ones, it does increase your infectivity a lot. Necrosis is a must-have. That's the one thing I'm going to say you have to have in this game type. Purely because it makes the dead infectious. So, you're killing people fast, but that doesn't matter. Because the dead corpses are adding to your infectivity. Uh, we will be fine as it is now, I think. Yep, just save it for um, any, gene any genetic reshuffles we may need down the line. But it's best to, if you can, wait until the very end. Again, this isn't the best way to get a high score. This is the best way to have a lot of fun and be a very fast game. I doubt this is going to last 10 minutes. Also, one second, very important. I'm turning down the audio slightly. Just because I'm deafening myself. There we go. Just wait. There's no point in um, spending DNA yet. Okay. Yeah, wait until it's a little bit cheaper. Actually, no, we can do it now. Insanity. We, don't, we, won't, we won't have seizures. We'll get hypersensitivity and get paralysis and then coma. The reason is these are still being very annoying and they are actually decreasing how much we're cured. As you say, we went straight down to 50%. Getting reshuffle is a waste, because you can get coma for the same price, and it does the same thing, and kills people. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to wait though, because we can get these for cheaper, so there's no point in getting them until there's more people dead, because of genetic shift, less people, things are cheaper. People are dying very quickly, so here we go, just go ahead and get genetic reshuffle level 1, level 2, and we can even go straight ahead and get level 3 as well, which takes us back below 50%. There's no chance whatsoever, they are definitely dead. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. I always deviate a little bit from this, because I tend to like to mess around. Sometimes I'll go with abscesses straight away, and then maybe even go into diarrhea. I might, uh, I might ignore skin lesions and go full mutation and go into a lot of the animals, because free symptoms are free symptoms. Actually, animals are quite a good thing. Um, I would recommend maybe going into mosquito rather than air. Although extreme bioaerosol is good, the mosquitoes and insects are pretty damn freaking amazing. So it really depends on how you feel about that. Okay, just waiting for the last couple to fall over. Let's see if we can actually afford any symptoms, because all symptoms slightly decrease how fast they've cured you. So let's get insomnia, paranoia, anemia, and haemophilia. And that decreased it by 2%, and instantly went back up by 1%, because they're still trying to cure us. Bless their little few thousand hearts. They're basically trying to be 300. We are the Persians, but we have a lot more warfare than in the film. There we go. Victory! Four stars. Like I say, I normally get four stars for this particular way of playing. If you uh, want to mess around with it and change it up, please go ahead. I'm, there's, there's definitely a lot of ways to get five stars, mostly using more transmission heavy things, so you get found out a lot later. Because you don't need as much DNA as I had. Really, I had excess most of the time, and being found out a lot later is obviously less cure percentage. You cannot even be faster though by being more aggressive getting diarrhea straight away, so I, I didn't actually play as aggressive as I could be. So I hope this helped you. Pardon me, the people who are asking, I really do hope it's helped. Play around with it and tell me how it goes. I really do hope it helped. If you haven't already, please subscribe and comment and like and such because it does help the channel out and makes me know I'm doing something you actually enjoy. 
Thank you for watching and goodbye.